Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We have a very, very fun video for you indeed. 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. I thought this would be a very fun video to react to because I'm interested to hear what you guys have that I don't. And I'm for every single item, I'm going to tell you if it is in fact true or not, whether I do not have access to these various items. So this should be pretty fun. In the top of your head, can you already think of some things that are unique to the United States that you will not find elsewhere? I'm beginning to think it might be some weather related things. You know, in South Africa, there's no snow, so we don't necessarily need, um, you know, snow equipment and all that kind of stuff. But I can't really think of too much else. Maybe, I don't know, air conditioning and stuff. But some of our homes do have air conditioning. I'm not sure. But this will be very, very fun indeed to see. So without any further delay, let's just get right into it. Chocolate chip cookies, dental floss, traffic lights, all yes. great American inventions. These things originated in America, but are now all over the world. No but doubt. if you think that everything American is in every other country, then you'd be wrong. There are some things you just don't see outside of the USA. Okay, let's I'm see. Charlie, and today we're going to look at 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have medical and lawyer ads. Medical and lawyer ads. If you're not from the USA but have gone to visit, I'm sure you switched on the TV and heard this phrase. Ask your doctor if this product is right for you. And then right. most likely a big list of scary warnings and side effects. This is something that only happens in America and it's advertising for medical products. Outside the USA, it's weird to see commercials for medical related things. Most people would just go to their doctor and get what their doctor suggests. But in the USA, it's common to see medical things advertised as if they were any other product. But medical ads aren't the only odd advertising you'll see in the USA. And so, so far, I can say this is probably true. In the top of my mind, I sometimes see ads regarding, let's say, vitamins and more like mass-produced um, health-related products, but actual specific prescription products. I don't think I've ever actually seen a, an ad for like a prescription type product. So, you know, they're probably right there. It's definitely something unique to the United States. Another thing you'll often see is adverts for lawyers. Yeah, I've never I'm seen this. I'm not talking this. about Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. Believe it or not, that's not just in TV shows. In the USA, lawyers really do advertise on TV. Did you know that 60% of the world's lawyers reside in the USA? What? And the USA is said to be the most litigious country in the world. This means the most lawsuits come from inside the USA. Guys, think about how crazy that is. So the United States have a population around 350 million, plus minus 350 million, and 60% of lawsuits come from within the United States. Oh, no, no, sorry. 60% of lawyers reside in the United States. Like, that is a crazy stat, considering that there's 8 billion people in the world, only 350 million in the United States, if they account for 60% of the lawyers. Crazy stat. Next up is spray cheese. Yeah, I've never seen this when in my you life. Think of cheese, you probably think France. Luxurious French cheese is a staple of fine dining around the world. But the USA has a different kind of dairy based delicacy. That is spray cheese. Cheese is eaten a lot in the USA. In fact, the USA is the world's largest consumer of cheese. But America also loves wow. convenience, and that's why cheese can be bought in a can in the USA. I don't know how and I feel about spray cheese. Spray cheese is actually only 51% cheese. By law, to call a product what it is, it must be at least half that product. So that's why it's only 51% cheese, not a percentage higher. The other 49% is flavorings, protein, and ingredients. Hey guys, what do you guys think of spray cheese? Is this worth trying? If it is, maybe I'll import a can. Um back to my home and you know try it out for myself we do have cheese spread that i have had many times before which might be a, a similar consistency but yeah i've never tried spray cheese spray cheese has been big in the usa since the 1960s and it's even sold in various flavors for example cheddar bacon and even american flavor Huh, I wonder what that is <laughs> american flavor what is that next up is garbage disposals I'm sure you've seen in movies and TV yes. shows how Americans throw their food scraps into the sink. 
You may think, what happens to them? Do they just sit there? Well, no, they go into what's called a garbage disposal. These things actually only exist in the USA. In other countries, food scraps would be put in the kitchen bin. But yeah. why is it that only in America do they use garbage disposals? Well, the reason why is because in many other countries, it's banned. Wow, this is because really? it's not very environmentally friendly. That's because all of the food is mixed in with the general water waste. This then mm. at some point must be filtered out. So it wastes a lot of energy, but it is convenient. Next. So I can definitely confirm that. I don't know anyone in South Africa that's ever had a garbage disposal, but we have seen them you know, in movies before when people have thrown their stuff in the garbage disposal, always wondered what goes on there. I'm guessing it's some sort of like shredder system that shreds everything and mixes it with the water. I'm not sure if I'm wrong, please let me know how it works, but yeah. Next up is college sports. Every country loves sports. Right. Whether it's cricket in India, football in Spain, or baseball in the USA. But only in the USA are they obsessed with college sports. Yep, this is true. Every country loves professional sport leagues, and the USA is no exception. But one thing that's different about the USA is that they love college sports as much as regular professional sports. No other country gets behind colleges as much as the USA does. Definitely not. If you ask people in other countries if they can name a college team of any other sport, chances are they can't. In other countries, college sports are not broadcast on TV. Nope. And they also don't make any money at all, as opposed to the millions made in US college sports. In the USA, college football brings in thousands of spectators to fill up stadiums. But in other countries, college football games are lucky if they even get the friends and family of the people involved watching. Also so I can definitely confirm this. Yes, we do have uh, college sports in South Africa, but they're definitely not taken as seriously as the professional leagues. Definitely not a lot of TV time. Sometimes like the, the college rugby final might be televised, but still doesn't really garner too much fanfare. However, you know, in the United States, you know, you've got Mich Michigan University, you know, Penn State University, those massive stadiums that account for more than 100,000 people. That is something you would never find in any other country. So I've got to agree with the narrator, yeah, for sure. Also, the biggest stadiums in the USA are pretty much all college football yeah, stadiums. There you go. Out of the top 15 biggest stadiums in the USA, all 15 are college football that stadiums. That is crazy. The largest of which being the Michigan Stadium, which can hold over 100,000 fans. Guys, I, I feel like I've learned something. Next I, up even is I knew that. Teeth. Have you ever wondered why all Americans seem to have great white teeth? It we seems don't have white teeth. For some reason, people in the USA are obsessed with getting the perfect teeth. And by perfect, I mean white and straight. Americans actually spend more money than any other country to make sure their teeth are white and straight. But despite all the money that's spent on getting white and straight teeth, that does not necessarily mean they're more healthy. For example, the British are often mocked for their bad teeth. But according to a Harvard University study, British teeth are actually more healthy than American teeth. Trust what? me, not all Brits look like Austin Powers. One reason why this may be is because in the UK, under 18s can get braces for free. However, in America, they're very expensive, and there's a good reason for that. According to a study by New York Mag in the USA, good teeth can be the difference between getting a second date and not. Apparently, 38% of Americans will turn someone down for a second date if they have bad teeth. And 60% of Americans say they perceive someone as smarter if they have straight white teeth. Next up is... So... I'm not totally sure about this one, guys, the, the whole teeth thing. You know, back home, it seems like everyone takes pretty good care of their teeth. They go to the dentist, they brush their teeth multiple times a day. So I don't, I wouldn't say that's specific to the United States. You might find that it's more prevalent in the United States, but this video title, comment things that don't exist outside the United States, I wouldn't, so I wouldn't put white teeth there because there's definitely many people all over the world that care about their teeth. I promise you guys, I brush more than twice, once a day. <laughs> Is Black Friday. Black Friday. Uh, if you're not from the USA, you may not understand why everyone goes so crazy on this day every single year. Black Friday is the name given to the day after Thanksgiving, which is another American holiday. The term Black Friday came about because of the amount of accidents and sometimes even violence shoppers create. People go crazy for all the deals in the stores and sometimes there are riots just to get into a shop. 
Black Friday has expanded to other countries, for example the UK. But videos of Black Friday in other countries have gone viral for different reasons. That's because no one really cares about Black Friday in other countries. And shops often only get one or two extra visitors than on a normal day. Billions of dollars are spent in the USA every time Black Friday rolls around. Okay, so I'll say this one is definitely false. Not saying that Black Friday is as big in other countries as it is in the US. I'm sure it's the biggest in the US, but to say it doesn't exist outside the US is probably false because in South Africa, we also have Black Friday and trust me, we go crazy on Black Friday. That is where most of my clothes shopping takes place. I feel like I do not buy clothes or anything like that any other day of the year. And then Black Friday comes, I do my yearly clothes shopping. So it might be bigger in the United States. It might have started in the United States and then spread out, but it definitely exists outside the USA. For sure. But it seems the rest of the world just isn't into it. Subjective. Next up is Solo Cups. If you're American, this may come as a surprise, but red Solo Cups are seen as a very American thing. In movies and TV shows, everyone drinks out of them at parties. And many tourists actually bring back a red solo cup to their own countries when going to America. That's because it's seen as a piece of American iconography, although many Americans don't realize this. In other countries, people simply drink from beer bottles or glasses, but in the USA, they use red plastic solo cups. Next. So again, this one, I half, half agree. Clearly, it's definitely more prevalent in the United States, especially amongst the college students and young parties, etc. But we also use the red cups, especially when we're playing beer pong. There's no better cup to use than the big red cups, those plastic red cups with the white infill. They are very, very much sold here in South Africa. So again, I disagree. Definitely more popular in the US, but it's spread over to many countries for sure. Next up is free refills. When I was dining in the USA once, a waiter came up to me and said, would you like me to refill your drink? I said no because the drink was kind of expensive, and they looked at me like I was crazy. That's because it is typical in any American restaurant to have a free refill. Wow. In other countries, you'd need to pay if you wanted extra drink, but not in the USA. In other countries, if you pay for one drink, that's what you get. And many Europeans say that they find it very weird when they go to the USA and their glass gets refilled even if they don't ask. But personally, I love it. I'm never going to turn down a free drink. So tell me guys, does the, does the free refill apply to every drink or is it mainly just at a coffee shop, you get another, you know, bit of filter coffee, you know, you get another soda. But is that the same at bars and restaurants as well? If you get a glass of wine, do they refill it? Uh, just confused as to how broadly that free refill applies. I know for us, there are uh, coffee shops and things like that that will refill, you know, um, refill your coffee. And there are, you know, restaurants that give you, you know, refill of soda, but definitely not alcoholic drinks. So that'll be interesting. That will definitely be interesting. That's another reason to visit the United States, if that's true. <laughs> and finally on the list, we have flags. Every country has their flag, but no one shows off their flag more than the USA. That's for if sure. If you drive around the USA, it's common to see people flying the American flag on their homes. Also, many buildings, schools, and businesses will have an American flag. This right. is something you don't see in any other country. According to research, over 150 million American flags are sold every year. And it's not exactly known why people in the USA love to show their flag off so much. Worldwide, the USA flag is the second most famous flag after the Union Jack. But no other country waves their flag as much as they do in the USA. Vote in the poll in the top right corner the most interesting common thing that doesn't exist outside the USA. I think. Okay, so those are 11 things that supposedly do not exist outside the United States of America. I agreed with about half of the things he said. The other half have definitely filtered to other parts of the world. I think everything here started in the US, but you'd be surprised how quickly things spread from the United States to other countries. You know, you guys sort of come up with the trends and then we follow suit a couple years later. The thing about the flags thing is definitely 
fairly true. Obviously, in South Africa, a lot of people are patriotic and they'll put their flags out, but not even close to the degree that people in the United States do it. You know, people in the United States are very patriotic, proud of their country and their country's history. And so they should be, you know, if I was living in the United States, I would 100% have my flag up, whether it's outside my house or somewhere inside. It's definitely nice to see. It's definitely nice to see people that are proud of their country. Absolutely. But yeah, folks, let me know what you thought of this video. And please let me know of other things that you can come up with that you think are unique to the United States that you won't find elsewhere. Because I feel like I want to get a better idea of some other things. Some of these things didn't quite hit the mark, but it was definitely fun to react to nonetheless. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps a lot. But folks, I hope you have a good one. I'll see you when I see you. Cheers.